Well, the Bears represent tradition in the NFL, being a charter franchise of the National Football League. And they took on that bigger, larger than life, if you will, masculine look that made them the rough franchise, the tough guys, the monsters of the midway. Both their image and colors created a lifelong bond with the fans. We talk about a community that looks at their team and they say, you know, this is who we are. We are the tough guy. Owner George Hallis went to the University of Illinois and brought his school colors to Chicago. And in the Bears' first year, he added a uniform detail to help his players. The vertical stripes that the Bears had on their early uniforms were actually felt, so it really had texture. It was designed for the ball carrier to grip the ball against their body and, and, and so that the ball would be less apt to come loose. Later, Chicago tried a brief experiment with a bold use of color. The Bears, when they featured the orange, particularly in the orange pants and the matching orange jerseys, it was loud. They showed up at Giant Stadium and the fans booed them mercilessly. Uh, the fans were so outraged at the color orange. I don't think they'd ever really seen anything kind of that loud and, you know, and that bold before. Soon after that, the Bears adopted a more traditional look. It was really blue. There wasn't really any orange. I can remember in the early 70s, the Bears added that orange to their helmet, and that looked just exotic. What were the, oh, the Bears are, they're crazy. Today, that iconic blue uniform, with just a touch of orange, continues to define Chicago, its fans, and their team. Blue and orange, they're not just colors, they're tradition.